Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm here in my Model Y, just finished shopping. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk to you about three topics. Number one, Tesla Model Y third row coming in fourth quarter. Number two, uh, people are returning Tesla Model Y after they bought it and they're getting banned from Tesla. What the heck it's all about? And number three, the heat pump in the Tesla Model Y. We'll get to that at the end. So let's start with the third row. Elon Musk was asked, uh, when is the third row of the Tesla Model Y coming? And he said fourth quarter this year. That's great news. I just want to know if you are a Tesla Model Y owner, not owner, if you're a Tesla Model Y reservation holder, did you uh, reserve the, the third row? If you did, why did you do that? Now, here is what I'm struggling. How is it going to look like? A third row facing the driver's side, like it's kind of was in, in uh, you know, indicated in the, in the videos and the reveal of Tesla, will be like, a, with no room for, for no leg room whatsoever. Maybe you'll put a small child there to be really, really hard. So that's, that's number one. What I feel, what I think there will be a wonderful thing to put two seats facing out, like jump seats, like they used to have in the Tesla model S at the very beginning. I don't think they offer it anymore, but that used to be, it's great for children. Children, you know, love, love, love uh, this kind of an arrangement. Obviously you're gonna sacrifice all your trunk space when you do that, 100%, you are sacrificing your trunk space. Uh, if you put, uh, if when you open those seats, and if you put them in that bucket, then you're going to uh, sacrifice that uh, play space as storage. If you don't have people sit in the back, so that's number one. So we'll see what happens. Very curious to see. Love, love to take photos and do a video with with one of those. Uh, number two, some people, and I made a video about it a few days ago. Uh, some people are really not satisfied with the Tesla Model Y. They call it like almost a, a better uh, Model Y. Like not ready for production, paint issues, front issues, trunk issues, trim issues, uh, gaps, uh, unalignment. Sounds, sounds like the issues they had with the Tesla Model X back in the day and the Tesla Model 3 at the beginning. Now, my Model Y is really great shape. I mean, I can be a nitpicker and, and find things, but it's really nothing major that I would spend any time taking it to the service center. But some people decided to return it, you know, the lemon law to return it. And Tesla basically let them know that while you, once you do that, you are banned from buying Tesla Model Y for a year. You can buy anything else uh, because you didn't do it in good faith. Like we, you can bring it and we will uh, we will fix it for you. But once it's returned, it's no longer a new car and it lost its value. And Tesla has to you know sell it in and reduce reduce price after they're gonna fix it. So that's interesting and it's very surprising. Some really prominent YouTubers that I, I follow uh, their own cars. Ryan Shaw, for example, their own cars were like defective. They took it several times to be fixed really sensor issues all kinds of issues all right that's number two and uh number three of course is what's so unique about the tesla model y is that it's the first and only tesla so far that has a heat pump um and the heat pump is great it's it, it helps a lot with efficiency uh how to cool the car and how to uh, 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 heat the car in the winter definitely in the winter i used to have it in my in my uh, Nissan Leaf. They still have them, the Nissan Leaf. The heat pump is a great idea. Really, really great idea. It has the compressor at one side and then the heat pump, and then it helps with uh, really alleviating uh, a lot of stress on the actual battery. But one thing, because the early models, Sandy Monroe showed that in his video, the early models did not have a, like a coat of insulation. So it's very loud when you're outside of it, really, really loud, okay? Not when you're inside, right now I'm driving, you can't hear a thing, absolutely nothing. But when you're uh, outside, it is going, it's cranking, all right? It's like a loud air conditioning. You can really, really hear it uh, outside when, when it's on. Uh, also, when you uh, uh, supercharge your car, I did it last week. When you supercharge your car and you need to, you, to cool the battery, uh, use the air conditioning, you can really, really hear it. 
very very loud very loud okay guys that's it for today put your questions and comments below and i'll see you all tomorrow bye